all right, all right, everybody, 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 everybody getting busy, everybody getting busy, getting dizzy up in the his a a a a. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? My name is Tom. I am the UFO Experiencer Coach with Tom Maher Coaching and Tom Maher CPCC. I want you to click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. I want you to click the notification bell to get notified every time I post a video. And like this video, comment on this video, share this video, oh, share this video. So today is another special video. Today I am celebrating uh, my friend Janice Araya. I am celebrating her 10 year anniversary of sobriety. So, so. For those of you know that know Janice Araya, how do you, where it's like where do you start? Where do you start with Janice Araya? So let me say this: I've known Janice for boy, it's been a long time. It's probably been over twenty five years. I don't think it's been thirty years, but I think it's been over twenty five years. And uh, so we've got a lot of history together. Um, let me say this: Janice has always, always, always been a very, very, very passionate woman. I mean passionate off the charts about everything in her life. She has been extremely passionate. She is passionate about her music. Anyone who, that knows Janice knows she's passionate about her music. She's passionate about her friends. She's passionate about her parents. She's passionate about her mother, God rest her soul. She's passionate about her father. She is just a very, very, very passionate woman. And um, there was a time, there was a time, and I knew her during this time, there was a time in Janice's life where she was very, 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 very passionate about her alcohol. I don't know that I need to explain anything more. I think you get that. She was very passionate about her alcohol. Um, and so she's had a lot of challenges in her life. And let's be honest, everybody has challenges in, the, challenges in their lives. Everybody has things they go through that's been tough. And uh, Janice uh, certainly had her fair share, uh, alcohol being one of them. And there's others, I mean, I go into car accidents and things like that, but uh, definitely had some challenges in her life. Um, and uh, we were celebrating 10 years of sobriety tonight, which was fantastic. Uh, boy, what did I want to So, and the thing is, too, so she's been sober for 10 years now. She's been doing these celebrations basically on every anniversary. She invites a bunch of friends to get together, go out and have dinner, and just kind of celebrate her, her years of sobriety. And I, I've been to a, I haven't been to all of them, but I've been to a few of them. But I thought, 10 years, you know, i got to go do the 10-year one because 10 years, that's important. That's a big deal. I want to celebrate her, her 10 years of sobriety. And, and Janice has been... So, I, like I said, she's had a lot of challenges in her life, and... Um, you know, I've helped, I've helped Janice move a lot. I mean, I've helped Janice move a lot. I, I, I think I've helped Janice move uh, two, two, I helped her move two, 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 uh, 200 and, uh, two, 240, oh, this would be 247, 247. Thousand times I've helped Janice move two hundred forty-seven thousand times. I mean, it was to the point where she would call me and go, "Hey, I can't find my. It's in the box with the this, and it's underneath the." Th or we'd be loading up my car, and she, "How does this fit?" Is look at the impression from the last time we put that box in. See the marks on the seat. Put the and put that one. See the marks there. Put them back in where they were the past seventy-five times I've loaded these into my car. Just do it the same way as before. <laughs> I would know where her stuff was better than she would sometimes because I had packed and moved her that many times. Um, so, <clears throat> and she, uh, she always, she's like I said, she's passionate about everything. She has taken some jobs that have been, uh, let's see. So, if you were to go to a, a like a grade school and say, "Hey, what do you want to be when you grow up?" and they'd raise their hands and shout out different things, or or if you go like a, she didn't pick, she didn't have any of those jobs. Those weren't the jobs that she ended up getting. Um, if you were to see a job fair and a bunch of people going around, hey, who wants a job doing this? All the ones where everyone would go, oh, I'd like that job. Those weren't the ones she went for. The people would go, hey, who would like a job doing this? And everyone would go, oh, not me, not me. She would end up with those jobs. So she'd, she'd have very, very challenging jobs. Uh, very Jobs that are very tough. But she still has jobs that are very tough. Um, jobs that a lot of times involve public service and public service in the, in the realms where the public always wasn't always very nice to people in those jobs, so she would have people be very unkind to her in many ways and many times. Just really, and not physically beat up on her, but would really kind of beat up on her. It'd make you go, why would people want these kinds of jobs? But she, she would just stick to it, and she would go for it, and she'd work hard. And, and the funny thing is, in those jobs that were less than glamorous, that most people wouldn't want, where people treated them badly, 
she still she would still find these people while she was working there that were that were down and out at the end of the ropes at the bottom of the barrel feeling completely despondent at rock bottom the people where other people in society would look and go uh, I don't want to be associated with that kind of you know, people were just down and out and at, at their end at their end she would come across these people and she would shower them with love she would pour love on these people that were like you know Maybe rock bottom is the best word to use for it. Rock bottom. Because I think she could relate to that because I think she's been there. And she would see these people who are just like really getting beaten up by life. Really having a really, really, really tough time. And she would love on them. She would see the beauty in them. She'd see the beauty in them and she would love on them. She would make their day a little bit brighter. Make their day a little bit better. Make their day a little bit easier. It wasn't part of her job description. It wasn't what she was had to do or what she was supposed to do. Uh, that's just who she is and who she was, and that's just a part of, of uh, what she was doing. You know, it was really Janice being Janice. Janice was always, she would love on people when she could. If you if you were down and out and beat up and, you, and no one gave a rat about you, she would show you some love. She would put some love on you. She would. She would do that. Um, even though sometimes she wasn't getting it herself, she would still, she was making an impact. She was making a big impact and a big change. And um, like I said, her drinking was really bad and she stopped ten, over 10 years ago. Because I don't know if this is the exact anniversary, but I, I don't think we uh, you know, celebrate it on the exact day, but kind of like a ballpark it is what we do. Um, and during that, during the past, and it's been tough. It's been, you know, anyone who's had those problems, anyone who's had those problems can relate. That's not an easy thing to do. It's a challenging thing to do. It's a very tough thing to do. And, but the past few years, boy, I got to tell you, the past few years, she's just been, you know, there are some times where I would think about Janice and I'd go, wow. Um, it was more like Janice's life was running her more than she was running her life. Now it's turned around. Now it's like Janice is running her life. Her life doesn't run her so much anymore. Now she is running her life. And so in the past couple years, she's been working hard at stuff, really try, committing and, again, passion, passion, passionate woman. Um, in the past couple years, I think she's lost over over 130, 140 pounds. I mean, she's lost a lot of weight because she's passionate about it. She's lost all that weight. Uh, she's looking better. She's feeling better. She seems happier. I'm glad she seems happier. Um She's finally found a man in her life that she really loves and really cares about. I think really loves and cares about her. So she's really kind of turned it around. Um, like I said, it's like Janice is really running her own life now as opposed to her life running her. So uh, we got together. And some of these celebrations we'd have where we'd celebrate her sobriety, there'd be like 20 or 30 more people at these restaurants just having a blast. Tonight was a, tonight was a smaller crowd. I think there was, at max, there was like seven of us. But you know what? She even said the people that are here are the right people who, who needed to be here. The ones that really she wanted here were, were there. So it was very cool. I was very glad to be part of it. Um, yeah, and, and a number of, I don't know, a week or two ago, I did a video for a friend of mine who passed away, and I shared in that video that my men's group, when we want to acknowledge someone or honor them, what we do is um, we, we'd say their name three times, and each time we'd say their name, we'd do this, this kind of chopping motion. We'd say their name and chop. Say, we'd say the name. Say the name say the name three times and after that we'd we'd chop one more time we'd say a ho and so ho is like an acknowledgement just like a, a you know just a acknowledgement of your magnificence and of your greatness and all that you've accomplished and who you are so uh, i'm gonna wrap up this video one of my longer videos i haven't done a video this long in quite a while but um i want to acknowledge janice Araya, and if you're watching this video i want you to join me too you can acknowledge janice just like i'm doing remember we're saying her name Three times, and at the end, we're going to do a nice big aho for Janice. So, 10 years of sobriety, lost over 100 pounds, um, got a man in her life that she really, really cares about, and things are looking good. She's making things happen. So, yeah, just fantastic. So, Janice, I'm so glad I was able to make it to your 10 year sobriety celebration. And uh, yeah, let's go for 10 more. Uh, I want to be there at 20. So, let's let's keep keep these rolling, keep it happening every single year. So, all right, so it's a Janice Araya three times, and then aho. Okay, you say it with me. Janice Araya. Janice Araya, Janice Araya, aho.